Hmm? Or a turtle. Oh, that's where he's been living, huh? He's sleeping. He's alive. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Yesterday, you saw us pull up what I think is at least a 25 year old jasmine plant. We did it yesterday because, well, it was 106 yesterday, and I think it's going to be 106 today. And um, I know I've said it repeatedly, it just gets super hot here. So I didn't know how long it was going to take us to dig it out. We landed up hitting hard pan. I'm glad we landed up doing it yesterday because we were able to fill each hole. We dug a hole and filled it up with water just to make sure that the water would um, absorb into the ground. And it did overnight. Um, I think we caught footage of a turtle that we found living in our jasmine. About over a year ago, our neighbor lost her turtle. And she put signs up everywhere, our, our next door neighbor. And of course she came and asked, you know, do, do you guys have, you know, have you seen my turtle? And I said, I haven't seen anything. And we actually put up like a bender board between our fence just to make sure that any of our turtles, because I think she has five of them, wouldn't come over and that they would stay safe, stay safe in her yard. And sure enough, it must have crawled under before we were able to do that and had been living here for over a year. So I was glad I was able to get that back to her. I originally wanted to plant uh, limelight hydrangeas, the panicle kind, and this is west facing right here and actually receives shade a good portion of the day until right about the end, and that's our hottest part of the day. And after doing more research, I thought, oh, I, I don't know if they're gonna make it here because with us getting up to 110, 114 this morning, it's very, very early and it's already 85 degrees. I thought, oh, I didn't wanna run that risk of possibly losing them. Whereas these summerific evening rose hibiscus, look how big they are, isn't that a beautiful color? They can withstand our full sun all day long. These get up to I think 48 inches high and 60 inches wide. I landed up getting two and then when we're done here there is a sprinkler line just behind me that ha has been overhead sprinkler water for us for many years and we're going to go ahead and convert that to drip. You might not be able to see it from here but we'll do that as soon as we're done planting them. I think this is going to be a much better addition and far more beautiful to look at than that kind of hedge looking jasmine that I had. I never really cared for it, even though I love jasmine, because this whole back wall right here is my entry and then right as you enter, it's the formal living room. So there are no windows and I can't open it up at night and the reason why I've hesitated for so long is because I know we're gonna stucco. It's it's just that it takes us. It's taking us a little longer than I had wanted because my husband has to grind off these. Um, I call them scallops. Some people call them like fish scales, but they're so I would say deep or I don't know. Anyway, and during the summer, he doesn't want to grind, and I really don't want him to because it's just too too hot to be out here. It's super messy. So fingers crossed. <laughs> when winter time comes and we trim these all the way down you know and we cover everything over here he can you know get this grinded and hopefully stuggled before they start to push new growth i'm so excited to see 
what this is going to look like next spring and i'm even more excited that i found something that can take our heat thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are having a really great weekend we'll see you soon bye